Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Now we'll take poly basic acid and poly basic acidic base. So what are these poly basic acid and poly acidic base? So if you see something like S2SO4, I'll tell you. It has more than one proton. So acid which have more than one ionizable protons per molecule are called poly basic acid. Example in this case H2SO4 will first give you H plus and HSO4 minus ion and this HSO4 minus ion will again give H plus and HSO4 minus 2 minus ion. Right? So in both case K will be different. In First will be Ka1 and then it will be Ka2. This is a general example H2x give you H plus and X minus, HX minus ion. The Ka this value that is H plus into HX minus by H2x. Again this HX minus from here will be in equilibrium with H plus and X minus 2 minus. So I will get a different K. So I get two Ks, K1 and K2. Right? So the, uh, the approach is different in poly uh, basic acids or polyproctic acids, I get two ionizable proteins. So I get two different values of K, K1 and K2. That's the only difference here. Right? And K1 and K2 are called first and second ionizing concept. There are two concepts now. So if it is three, for example, I think S3PO4, it has three ionizable uh, um, proton. So it will have K1, K2, K3. It is first, second and third ionization constant for this acid. There is a table for this if you see. Uh, for example, if you see the uh, phosphoric acid, if you see, there are three K, K1, K2 and K3. Pretty sulfuric acid, K1, K2. Oxalic acid, K1, K2. So it can have K1, K2 or K1, K2, K3. Depending on the number of ionization proton it has. And please note if you see the higher order ionization constants are smaller and the lower order ionization constants are bigger. So if you see these values will be more actually are less. Why? If you see the next ionization will not happen so easily. For example, H2SO4 gives H plus SO4 minus. And HSO4 minus will give you H plus and SO4. So if you see this is this will easily give one H plus, but next X plus is difficult to get, right? Because already it has lost one H plus. So this reaction will ha happen less in the forward reaction, and thus the Ka2 value, this is A1 and this is A2. The Ka2 value will be lesser than K1 because this reaction will happen more, more in the forward reaction. This will happen less in the forward reaction. So the question says the first ionization constant of H2S is 9.1 to the power minus 8. So I have something called S2S. It gives H plus and HS minus. And for this Ka1 is 9.1 to the power minus 8. Right. Second ionization constant for this is one point two ten to the power minus thirty. You need to find the concentration of S two minus and also HS minus. So let's take this reaction first. H2S will be equilibrium with H plus and HS minus. T is equal to 0, it was 0.1 M solution. 0.1 M, 0 and 0. T is equal to equilibrium, this becomes 0.1 minus X, this becomes X, this becomes X. K1 is what? X square by 0.1 minus X. And that value is given by 9.1 into 24 minus 8. You solve it. You get x is equal to 9.54 10 to the power minus 5 m. Thus, the concentration of Hs minus is nothing but 
x. So concentration of Hs minus is 9.54 into 10 to the power minus 5. Done. Now let's talk about the second reaction. The second reaction I have is Fs minus gives H plus plus is 2 minus. T is equal to 0. What is the value? This value. This becomes 9.54 into 10 to the power minus 5. This is 0 and this is 0. At T is equal to equilibrium. This will be 9.54. Is 9.54 10 to the power minus 5 minus x, this becomes x and this becomes x. Sorry, this is not x, this is see at t is given 0, it has some values, and that was nothing but h plus ions only, right? That is 9. Oh, let me do it once again. We will hold it again. Hs minus ion gives this space also H plus plus S2. So T is equal to 0. This was C H plus ions also was same value. Correct? You see H plus and Hs minus both are same values. T is equal to 0, Hs minus will have what? This guy. 9.54 into 10 to the power minus 5m. This is the same thing. 9.54 10 to the power minus 5m. And this will be 0. At t is equal to equilibrium, what will happen? This guy will lose some ym. And this guy will gain some ym. And this guy will become 0 plus y. If you want Ka2, you just put the value of Ka2 here. Ka2 is what? This guy, 9.54, 10 to the power minus 5 plus y. This is concentration of H plus, concentration of S2 minus, that is y, divide by concentration of Hs minus, that is 9.54, 10 to the power minus 5, minus y. Correct. And this value is what? Given 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 30, right? This is equal to this value, right here, 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 30. So if you solve this, if you solve this equation, you get y as 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 30 in itself. See, because this guy and this guy is almost same, right? This guy is cancel it because y is very small, so this guy will be equal to uh, 9.5 to the power minus 5 only, and this guy will also become 9.5. Cancel so y come out to be 1.2 to the power minus 30. And that is my S2 minus ion concentration. And that is my answer. Let's take my example. The question says, assuming complete disassociation, we define the pH of the following solution 0.03 m HCl and 0.05 m NOH. So it says that I have HCl and it completely dissociates into H plus HCl. T is equal to 0. My HCl was 3 into 10 to the power minus 3m. T is equal to, I want the equilibrium. Uh, T is equal to, after some time, infinite, you can say, this becomes 0 and I get 3 into 10 to the power minus 3m H plus ions and 3 into 10 to the power minus 3m. Cl minus. So pH is what? Minus log of H plus ion concentration. So what is H plus ion concentration? 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is only what? 2.5. Correct. Let's take this guy. NaOH. NaOH will completely dissociate into Na plus and OH minus ions. So let's suppose T is equal to 0. It was 5 into 10 to the power minus 3m. This was 0, this was 0. T is equal to infinite after some time. This becomes 0, this becomes 5 into 10 to the power minus 3m. This also becomes 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. Right? So my OH minus concentration is what? 5 into 10 to the power minus 3m. So H plus is what? Will be 10 to the power minus 14 by OH minus. Correct? Because you know that OH minus concentration into H plus concentration is going to Kw that is 10 to the power minus 14. 
So with this, you get h plus as nothing but 10 to the power minus 14 by 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. You solve it, you get 2 into 10 to the power minus 12. So pH will be what? Minus log of H plus concentration. So what is H plus here? Minus log of 2 into 10 to the power minus 12. You solve it, you get 11.70. And that is the answer. So, in this case, when you dissociate acid, you directly get the concentration of H plus, but in case of base, you get the concentration of OH minus plus, and then you have to find the concentration of H plus because to find pH, you want the concentration of H plus. Let's take an example here to find the pH of this solution 2 gram of TiOH dissolves in water to give 2 liters of solution. So I have TiOH plus water, some water, 2 liters, gives you Ti plus and OH minus. Oh, it's TL, yeah, TL. TL plus and OH minus. So we have 2 grams. And I have to find T is equal to 0. What is the concentration of this? Right? And assuming 100% dissociation. So in the past example, the molar concentration of T, uh, HCl and NOH is given. But here the gram is given. So first you have to find the molarity. Molarity of TLOH. TLOH. There's nothing but 2 by, since it is 2 gram, 2 by 221. Because 221 is a molecular uh, mass into 1 by 20, 1 by 2 liters, right? Moles per liter. That is nothing but 4.52 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter or m. This is the molarity of TiOH, right? So if you take the same equation, so at t is equal to 0, my this will be uh, TLOH will be 4.2 into 10 to the power minus 3. This will be 0 and this will be 0. At t is equal to infinite, this will become 0 and this will become 4.52 10 to the power minus 3 and this will also become 4.52 10 to the power minus 3. So my H plus OH minus concentration is what? This guy. That is 4.252 into the power minus 3. So I have to find H plus or N concentration because I have to find pH. So H plus will be what? 10 to the power minus 14 by OH minus concentration. This is nothing but 10 to the power minus 14 by 4.52 to the power minus 3. You solve this, you get 2.21 10 to the power minus 12. Right? This is the value you get. So pH will be what? Minus log of H plus. That is nothing but minus log of this value 2.21 10 to the power minus 12. You solve this you get 11.66 kilos in the pH. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.